Keisha, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, do the whole copy um, from computer to external over to the Multiman to Gaia Manager. Since I'm not a big fan of Multiman, I'm not going to be working with that. Um, and I don't suggest you guys work with Multiman, um, but if you are a Multiman user, then hey, go for it. But I'm going to stick with Gaia. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So first things first is uh, I went ahead and I saved time about 40 minutes and I copied the 25 gigabyte um, Killzone 3 over to my external hard drive, which is right there, which I'll go ahead and plug in to my PS3 in a second. But um, I basically went from computer, I copied it over to the external without a problem. Um, it, it is a it is a 4 gigabyte file, so it does give me an error if I was on FAT32. Um, since we're on NTFS, we don't have that problem anymore. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and on your PS3, go ahead and launch... Uh, go ahead and launch Multiman and launch the NTFS driver by pressing Start and Triangle. Now, if you do it right, you're going to get that PFS drive. Now, I have my flash drive connected, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that now. Um, that one's on NTFS. I'm going to go ahead and hook up this uh, external drive. So give me a second. Bear with me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect it there. And if you connect it and everything comes out right, um, you should see a little USB uh, hard drive that comes up. Now, we're just going to go ahead and patiently wait for it. There it is. So if you get that PFS drive... That means you successfully mounted your uh, USB, uh, your USB flash drive, your external or your internal, um, whatever you may choose. But um, this is the correct way to do it. Either you can come to um, PVD uh, underscore USB, or you can come down here to PF uh, Drive, and you got to press X. And the way you get into the screen, by the way, is you press Start and Select, um, and it gets you here. This is the File Manager slash FTP for Multiman. So once we're here, we're going to go ahead and come into this games folder. You don't really have to make a folder for this. Just locate where your game is. For mine's going to be right there, which is going to be the uh, the bless or whatever. So we're going to keep that there. Don't touch that. Now we're going to come on this right, on this side, and we're going to focus on here. So we're going to go to HDDO, and then we're going to go to games. Now, once again, like I did state in previous videos, games with an S, it stands for Gaia, and games with a Z stands for Multiman. So we're going to be jumping into the games folder with an S. And then we're going to press X. Now, what you're going to do to copy and how to do this, it's not like the old ways where you just press circle. Um, for this, you have to do it from the file manager over. So it's kind of like a, a bridge that you have to make. So you're going to press circle on it. You're going to highlight, and it's going to ask you, um, are you sure you want to copy uh, the game from here to there? So the source and the destination, you want to go ahead and hit yes. Um, do not disconnect it. Don't think it froze. If you push buttons and it's not working for you, um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just don't touch it. Um, give it about 45 minutes, um, depending on how big the file is. Uh, and I mean, it is what it is, guys. Um, you know, some people, it may take longer. You don't want to restart your PS3 because you could completely fuck it up. Um, you know, you could brick it. You can corrupt the data. You can do a bunch of shit by doing that. So just bear with it. And uh, Multimat isn't 100%. It's going to freeze on you sometimes when you enable the NTFS uh, driver. So just bear with it. Make sure you got your codes right. Um, your digits and all that shit set up. So, I mean, if you want the best uh, result out of Multiman, just, you know, make sure you got the codes. Um, you know, you will encounter freezing once in a while. Gaia isn't perfect either, but you just got to let it do. So there you guys go. There you guys have proof that now it's copying um, from there to there. Now it's going to take a very long time. You guys can see how many megabytes that is, 25 gigabytes. So, you know, it, it's going to take a long time. So I'm not going to make a video for 45 minutes, and it is what it is. So... Go and I hope you guys enjoy that. Now I did test this out on a PS3 Slim and on my PS3 Fat, um, both of them. So, yeah. All right, guys. Peace.